why do we feel happy when we're on the natural love path mm -hmm. compared to feeling the feelings of sadness and unhappiness when we decide to get on the way? <laughs> I love this question mm. because it's just so full of uh, like incorrect thinking and, and behaviour, I feel. <laughs> it's like amazing. Well, the reason why you're happy on the so-called natural love path is because you're full of addiction. <laughs> that are being met, probably. That are being met, probably. Yeah. Well, if we're happy. then And you, if you're happy and you're not at one with God, then it means that you're full of addiction. Yeah. You, you're not really happy. You're just feeling happy because all of your addictions are getting met. That's why you feel happy. So basically what that question is telling me is the person who asked it, and by the way, we've been asked this question many times by many people. Yeah. Every person who asks it is totally in their addictions. Yeah. And then when they get on the path to the way, the mm -hmm. God's way, of course their addictions start getting confronted. Yeah. And for many people, they start becoming very unhappy about that. That's their anger-based response to their addictions being confronted. And it's probably a normal response if we don't have a desire to love or to have truth or have humility. So if we had a desire to be loving and receive God's love and had a desire for truth and receive God's truth, and if we had a desire to be humble and be, let others be humble, we wouldn't feel that happy with the natural love path. Mm. And in fact, we'd feel very happy about getting on the divine love path. Yeah. So it also tells us that the person asking these questions is not yet on the divine love path. All that's happened is the divine love path has triggered their addictions mm -hmm. and they feel very unhappy and they're unwilling to give up their addictions. And so they want to go back to the natural love path so that they can have their addictions met again. Yeah. And by the way, the natural love path in the end doesn't meet all of your addictions. So this is the thing. They want to stay in the hells and Mm. and think, think that they're happy, mm. which is very sad, actually. Because a, a person who's in this much addiction is in the hells, mm. and they want to stay in the hells rather than actually work through their addictions. And that's the crucial part, isn't it, working through the addictions? Because as soon as we begin that work and we begin to have less addictions, while we might feel unhappy um, or uncomfortable while we're working through the addictions. No, I can't you agree. You start to feel better, though. Yeah, but I can't agree. We'd even be unhappy, unhappy and uncomfortable working through our addictions. It's a relief to actually see your addictions. Yeah. When you tr when you desire truth and desire love, you're relieved to see what your addictions are that are causing you to be unhappy, unhappy and damaging others. And, and in fact, it's a beautiful process to to actually feel. You actually feel happy. So if you're not happy on the path on the way. Yeah then it's because you're unwilling to actually look at any of your addictions. And, and are living in a state of rebellion against the truth that has been presented to you, would you say Of course, that? every person yeah. who wants to live in their addictions is living in a state of rebellion yeah. to truth. Yeah. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to love. Mm -hmm. They're in rebellion against love as well. Mm. They don't want to love. They're in rebellion against humility. They don't want to be humble. And so while we're in rebellion to those things, we can't say that we're on the way. We're definitely not on the way. Because the way, by definition, is when we desire love. We Correct. desire truth. We desire to be humble. Correct. Yeah. So we're not yet on the way. And that's the reason why we find it so painful, because yeah. we really don't want it. Yeah. And we want to go back to the nice way that we had before, which was all about feeding our sleazy addictions. Yeah. And we love that. Yeah. And we need to be honest with that. Yeah. We need to see our addictions as sleaze. Yes. From, you know, there are methods of manipulating our, and controlling our environment mm -hmm. and our own emotions. So that's pretty sleazy. Yeah. And, and we need to see them as such and go, OK, I don't want to do that anymore. And once you start actually having a feeling you don't want to do that anymore, you'll love the path. Yeah. You'll love the way that God's created. You, you'll enjoy it, actually. Like when I look at the two paths, I go, how can you enjoy the natural love path? You call it the natural love path, and it's not even natural love path that you're enjoying. You're just enjoying your addictions. Because yeah. the reality is, spirits who have to progress on the natural love path find it very confronting to progress because they have to still confront their addictions. Yes. They just don't have to confront as many mm -hmm. as the person who's on the path to God. Mm -hmm. 
Because remember I've said in previous answers that the injuries we have surrounding God are much more extreme and, and also in terms of percentage, much higher percentage than the injuries we have with anything else. Mm -hmm. For that reason, we're going to find the injuries we have with God more confronting and difficult to deal with, mm -hmm. right? But a person who's on the natural love path still has to confront all of their injuries about love and truth and humility with regard to natural love. And most of them find that extremely painful, far more painful than a person who's on the path to God. Mm. Because the beauty of being on the path to God is you receive some of God's love while you're doing it. And that's what takes away a lot of this pain that everybody thinks they're in all the time. <laughs> right? yes. The reason why you're in pain all the time is because you're not on the path. Yes. Right? You're not on the path yet because you haven't given up any of your addictions. You're just in rebellion about giving up your addictions. Mm. So, so honour that. Yeah. Tell yourself the truth about that and then get through that. Because that's the discomfort, isn't it? It's, that's what prolongs the, the discomfort even, is staying in the state of rebellion. Correct. Once we get out of that, we go, oh, this is a mess. I've got to do a clean up. But it doesn't <laughs> feel so bad because you know no, how to clean it up. You know how to clean it up and you're starting to clean it up. So you, you're feeling better as you continue in the clean up. Yeah. And you can look back in six months and go, I've oh, progressed. I've I progressed. can feel it. I can feel more love. I'm being more loving with my neighbour, my friends, my family. I'm being more truthful with my neighbour, my friends, my family, with God, with myself. I'm, I'm feeling more of my emotions. So I feel my humility growing. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you? Like, I don't understand <laughs> these statements sometimes because they, but they, they do come from people who have not experienced the way. Yes. So it's almost like they're, they're a person who, who's in their addictions commenting about the way. Yes. They haven't yet got on the way. No. Because once they get on the way, they won't like their addictions anymore. No. And they'll want to get rid of them and they'll love when they can get rid of them. A person who asks a question like this doesn't want to get rid of their addictions. They love their addictions. And the so-called natural love path is not the natural love path at all that they're describing. They're just getting their addictions met. And the majority of paths on the earth meet a lot of addictions of people. And none of them are natural love because when they arrive in the spirit world, they'll arrive in the hells of the spirit world and they'll still have to learn about love and it, they're still going to find it painful. Yeah. And, and they're still going to have to confront all of these addictions. Yeah. But, but just not as many as addictions as they will have to confront connecting to God. Mm. That's all. Mm. <laughs> so I feel there's a lot of false beliefs it, that people have about they sort of have this viewpoint that they're not going to have to confront addictions and therefore not going to have to feel pain if they're on the natural love path that's not all that's not the case at all if you're on the natural love path as it truthfully is mm. you will have a lot of pain in your progress mm. you will have a lot of pain in your progress mm -hmm. and you'll be without god going through it that's the reality the majority of people on earth who think they're on the natural love path are not on natural love path at all. They don't know anything about love at all. They are in their codependent addictions, which is not love. Yeah. And, and then when those addictions don't get met, they get all upset. Yeah. And that's an indication that they don't know how to love. Mm. Right? And that's not the natural love path. No. So don't assume that you staying in your addictions and feeling all happy is the natural love path because it is not. Yes. It is just a spiritual process, like so-called claim to spirituality yeah. process, that's feeding your addictions. Yeah. And, and you love it. We can't call it natural love then, no, as you said. No, not at all. And yeah. Because the true natural love paths are paths that are actually learning about love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> they they improve in love. And they're not in codependent addiction. No, <laughs> and there are many there are many things on the on the planet that are dedicated to some form or some growth in natural love, but many um, kind of spiritual pursuits are that people label addictions. with natural love labels yes. are do not, not natural love have at any all. Love or any growth in love within yeah. them. Yeah. And the reality is that a person who's never heard of God on this planet, never heard of any na so-called natural love path, yeah. never heard of any new age mystical thing, yes. never heard of any religion, is often in a far better condition because they 
are not tainted, their love isn't tainted by any of those concepts or ideas. Yes. And so they are on the natural love path. Yes. yes. They are on the natural love path more than any of all these other people are. <laughs> yeah. And when they pass into the spirit world, they pass into a better condition. That's what it was like for Frederick in the book Through the Mist, if, yes. we, if we've read that book. He did not have a religion that he adhered to. He practiced love in his day to day life. He often felt sad and he went through his sadness, but he practiced love in his day to day life. He, he longed for truth mm -hmm. in his day to day life. He was a man who was on the natural love path. Yes. He arrived at the top of the first sphere as a result. Yeah. The, his, his countrymen, most of them, all think they're following a religion, all think they are doing the right thing, they all think they believe in the right thing, they have no natural love development inside of them or very little natural love development inside of them, and so they arrive in the hells. Yeah. And then yeah. they have to progress in love. Yes. And, and then to assume that progress on the natural love path doesn't involve pain is completely incorrect. Nat progress on the natural love path involves the most pain of all. <laughs> The most yeah. pain of all. Yeah. Because on the divine love path, you're receiving some of God's love and so there's less pain. Yes. Right? But on the natural love path, you're not receiving God's love and so it's going to involve the most pain of all. Mm -hmm. The majority of people on this earth are not on that path yet. Yes. They will only get on that path sometime in their future. So they're not even on the natural love path. They're in their codependent addictions and that's what makes them feel happy. Yeah. And it, it, we, we've got to emphasize that. I am, I am tired of people saying to me, oh, I've been on the natural love path and it was all good. No, you've never been on the natural love path because you're totally unloving. Yeah. <laughs> you just have had all of your addictions fed yeah. and that's what felt good. Yeah. And, that, and don't call that the natural love path because if you were really on the natural love path, you would have felt a lot of pain yeah. that you haven't felt yet. Yeah. Yeah. So... So, you know, obviously when people, it's, I find it quite amazing how people sometimes analyse all of these different things. They s seem to analyse these things through their filters of belief and, and it's totally incorrect. So, so in future, for all of those of you, of you who question me about the natural love path, mm. please understand that it's going to involve more pain than you've ever experienced in your entire life, <laughs> right, if you're really on it. And, and honestly... If you're on the divine love path, you're going to have less pain through the process because God's going to help you with your pain. And if you are happy on the so-called natural love path, you're not on any love path. You're not on any love path at all. You've never even got on a love path at this point. You're just in your codependent addictions and you're wanting your environment to meet your addictions. And that's all you're on. Yeah. And, and while you're there, you're not on a love path at all. Mm. So don't call it one, <laughs> you know, call it what it really is. My codependent addiction path, <laughs> my selfish narcissistic path, which is really what it is. Well, that's how we are when we live in addiction, isn't Correct. it? Correct, yeah. yeah. So if we feel we're happy when we no longer get, uh, you know, when we no longer listen to divine truth, we haven't gone back to a natural love path. Mm. We've gone back to no path at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's reality. Yes, mm. thank you.